Like, say what you want about Smash Ultimate, it's not really canon, but... <laughs> how the... How, yeah, how, how, how all this ties together, we'll never understand. Yeah. Like, the story behind Smash Bros. is like a kid playing with his toys, right? At least... At least that's the theory I've been hearing. Mm. So it kind of makes sense for all these, like, characters to mishmash together. Whereas, how is it that a game that has basically invented the ratings board collaborate with a uh, Saturday night cartoon show? Yeah, it seems so out of place right there. I mean, it's cool, but it, at the same time, it's like... I don't know, I'm just expecting Scorpion to rip off Michelangelo's spine or something, and it just feels off-putting. <laughs> Definitely. It's awkward. Uh, okay, so... How big is this level? My goodness. Yep. I guess that's the way they program the levels. To compensate for the shorter levels, they made it way bigger. Oh no, I see uh -huh. him. <laughs> yep. He's a returning character. Uh, yep, and as I stated Spyro. before... Don't get in used to seeing him again, all throughout I the game. See. What? This Surprise. is pretty much the only time we're gonna see him. In danger what? Something like that? So we're paying him 200 we'll gems, pay and 200 that's it. Gems to what? We don't even get like a comeback or anything? Like, beat him up? Nope, or... we don't even get the satisfaction of getting our gems back. No! I don't want... No. And, uh, and we keep have in to, mind... And they were supposed to at one point. Oh my god. They were supposed to bring him back at a later time, Thanks, but Spyro. due to time constraints, this is the only time we're seeing him now. Uh, for my so it's like, so it's Spyro, like, yep, we, we get 200 gems problem. off our system and that's it. Damn. He's done. That sucks. Like, that's the beauty, that was the beauty of... Crypto's Rage and you're the dragon. Yeah, it's like you get compensation for all the hard work you get, and then now it's like literally yep. stealing from you. <laughs> you are a dragon. And had they given them have, had they given this May the proper the time, they would have at least given us some sort way. of compensation. Yeah. Alright, so we found Because there's an unused <laughs> Yes, because there's an unused audio file for this game that indicates they were gonna bring him back. He pay, he gives us our gems back, and then we presumably never see him again after that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a lot of That's not as satisfactorial as like burning him and getting ten thousand gems. Uh-huh. There's a lot of unused content for this game. Yeah, there's so much missed potential, it's like it kinda pisses me off a little. <laughs> it's like if they were to revisit this game, they better make it good. Uh-huh, and they better... Yeah, one thing I'm hoping is that they go through all the unused content and all the scrapped level ideas and bring them to the forefront somehow. That would definitely make this game a lot more justified, I feel. Yes, because just recently I've been hearing stories about a level called Baked Alaska. But perhaps the more... Perhaps the more infamous work, level projected for Into the Dragonfly is uh, Enchanted Forest. Well, I get to that in a bit. I'll you. explain it. All right. Perhaps you should contemplate a career this one is as a Toshiro. dragon sensei. Mm. Who is this best it spy? Could be your density. Uh, I mean, your destiny. Mm. Now, I actually don't know a person named Toshiro. Open that gate. That it appears is my density. I, I yeah, mean, I'm pretty much at a loss. Toshiro could Spyro. pretty much be be anybody for all I know. Yeah, like with the first four we get it like Jet Li, Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, and uh, Mr. Miyagi from uh, Karate Kid. Mm -hmm. But uh, Toshiro, like, I really don't know who that is. Uh-huh. So, back to the more infamous Enchanted Forest. Alright. Whenever people talk about the unused and scrap content for Into the Dragonfly, Enchanted Forest always seems to come to come to people's minds for the reason that this was one of the levels that they've written they've written plenty of ideas for and, and in fact and the concept was supposed to be Scottish foxes that you'd be meeting throughout the level so it had some sort of atmosphere going on for it but uh, in execution they did they pretty much had to force this one right out the door I'm sorry so, how the hell am I supposed to reach this fucking dragonfly <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is what I was getting at. Oh man, I can see. Because, like, it's Good. literally, like, flying so high that I can't reach it. 
Yeah, your best bet is to jump and jump. Yeah, just keep shooting bubbles. But even then, it's so hard to decipher because they're moving around so fast. Yeah, that one literally clipped through the wall or this gate. Oh, oh my god. What's the How AI for this? That's what I want to know. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, I lost it. Where is it? There you are. Why is it so high? It shouldn't be this high. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Hey, it's Cinder. All right, we got Cinder. Um and considering considering what we've got from the Legend of Spyro and Skylanders to an extent, I kind of feel this is a bit of I don't know, foreshadowing in hindsight, but uh it's it, Right now, I just see it as a bit of a funny coincidence that this dragonfly is named Cinder. Yeah, we'd eventually get a dragon character with kind of the same name. Mm. I don't know if you're familiar with Cinder exactly, but uh, yeah, I'm, she's pretty well. I don't remember exactly every single. Uh, why is this number one bouncing? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that indicates the number of the gems you gain. Yeah, but it was like constantly bouncing, so. Ah, oh, right. Like it seems it like the graphic didn't like while. disappear or like despawn or any. Camera? Yeah. What the hell? Uh oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, oh we're God. stuck. This game. <laughs> <laughs> yep. God, this game. And this is the first level, quote unquote. Oh, we're in the first Not level. I'm seeing so many hub. issues and gameplay designs are so like flawed. Yep, it's incredibly wonky, all things considered. <laughs> and this is our second challenge portal. Uh, second challenge portal, what is this? <laughs> You're gonna notice it's incredibly out of place for our level dedicated to Chinese-Japanese culture. Is that a tank? Yes. Okay, uh... Welcome to our tank training arena, Private Dragon. Now I've got a prize for you if you can destroy all the dummy tanks. How this blends in with the world to dedicated the to peace and tranquility, I'll never understand. Unless they're trying to replicate like the days of World War II. What do you how yeah, definitely the, how does this work? Arena? Like what? Yeah, it's so inconsistent. Uh is what I'm getting at. Shoot with X. You can raise the turret with B to lower it with A. What? Try holding Y to target mode. Okay, so that's normal, I guess. Turn the turret. Uh -huh. Okay. What? There is no voice. There's no voice dialogue recorded for specifics like this. Uh, but uh, oh my if you God. ever want to learn how to control this thing, yet the options there. So. Oh, oh. Okay, it's Halo control. That's why I was a little bit confused because like I went back, and it like turned or something. Yeah. I right. can't control the camera here again. Uh, why is he in the tank? <laughs> I just realized that. Why is he in the tank? Good. Yeah, good question right there. Spyro was like... UFO makes kind of sense because it's technically like hunters, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It kind of ties in with a hunter having to deal with them at some point. Yeah, but this has... What? <laughs> it yeah, just feels so yeah. off-putting. Yeah, there's no, like, direct indication of why exactly we need this exact tank to, uh, shoot all these down. Except for, you know, setting up a minigame, oh. otherwise. Oh my god, this feels so weird. Oh my god, ah, stop it. Uh, so when we... Yeah, to put things in better perspective, it made better sense when we were using weapons like this to take down the sorceress. But, uh, in this case, no, I'm just not seeing it. Yeah. The fact that you can't control the camera is so weird too, it's like... Oh my god. Okay, so and, uh, I can control the camera all of a sudden. Uh, unless you're using the C-Stick. Uh... Okay, so you can move the camera only when you yeah. stop. Like, when you stop moving, do anything. Otherwise, like, it's... From a standstill, you can, at least. Yeah. Well, I think like controlling it with LNR is also not as bad. Why are we killing these rabbits, by the way? <laughs> uh, pretty much by just running them over. That green bar up there is your health meter. Oh, okay, so they're fodder. All right, I get it. Uh, what? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought that was a collectible for something that's twice spinning, but no, it's just nope. to spawn properly. No. Nope. 
Uh, can I shoot? Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you can. And there's 21 of these things? Uh, ah, yeah, crap, 21. that thing literally, like, attacked as soon as I broke the rock. Come on. Yeah. Give me some leeway room. Yeah. Uh, right, A and B, and, uh, for some reason, elevate the tank. Such a weird, like... Oh, no. Yeah, it controls... Yeah, it controls so awkwardly. Like, maybe I would forgive it a little bit if it control properly, but no, it just feels so weird. You uh -huh. have to, like, really know how to get used to this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna die soon, I think. And, uh, note, once you run out of health, you start all the way at the start. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. So we have do? to deal with oh, this no, all over you. again. Oh, my God. Yep. This is just for one dragonfly, I'm assuming. It is. Alright, is there one behind it? Nope, okay. Not behind there either. Okay, what's the point of these specific, uh, these, uh, bunny specific. Oh, what? Uh, fodder. Yeah, I know, it's for fodder, but, like, okay, never mind. Because, like, they were at the very beginning of the level, but you start off with full health, so. Yeah. Game design wise, it makes no sense for them to be at the very beginning if there's no enemies. Unless you have like no, unless you have like zero clue what you're doing, then uh, yeah. These, these exact fodder do not serve much of a purpose at this point, starting us off. Yeah. These lasers go somewhere far away, so like you could probably snipe them from a distance. And it's and it's probably recommended that you do because the mo the minute they detect you're on site that's when they start firing at you yeah going crazy like that mm -hmm. like I that's my recommendation for dealing with these guys is to snipe them essentially right. you can get one more just in case unless that's full I can't tell if that's full or not uh yeah I yeah once it's green that indicates yep all right it's full I'm smoking though, so like it kind of feels like I'm still damaged somehow. But I think that's just uh, like, no. But I think engine. that's pretty much just the tank itself. Yeah, it's so weird. The way it's like looks, it makes it feels like I'm damaged, but I'm not. Alright, there's nothing behind there. The tank moves pretty slowly too. Yep, that's another thing that drags us out for quite a while. And we're only at the halfway point. We've only got like nine of these guys. Man. Okay, there's definitely a lot more here too, so I think this might be a safe place. I think. Yeah, alright. I'm seeing some now from a distance. Yeah, it goes pretty far away, so this is my easily my best recommendation to all right. deal with these tanks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what? <laughs> These are analog triggers, and yet they're not using it to their fullest. Weird. You have to press the digital input to, uh, turn. Well, then now again, between PS this... Oh, sorry, and, uh, bet Right. I feel between this and Wrath of Cortex, I feel the, the, the latter is where they're getting most of their... Most of their motive to encourage even more vehicle controls because mm. I remember Wrath of Cortex had plenty of these and while they were sluggish in their own right they were at least playable on yeah. some level yeah this is just in fact I'll say this that the, this? the airplane section for Wrath of Cortex was not that bad to control at all no it but, was fine yeah but the tank here it's just it's so weird like, it controls awfully, it's so slow, sluggish, and the level design is not accounted for it at all. Like, this is a very big mm. open space here, but I'm moving like molasses. Yeah, it's like, mm mm, -mm. what are you doing? Mm. Oh my god, hello. Alright, there we go. That rock yep, came that out of nowhere. Alright, so these tanks seem to hide mostly behind rocks. 
Yep. And by the way, this is mostly a complaint from me playing older games in general, but the camera is also inverted. So that's going to take in some time to get used to. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm definitely used to left turning you left and right turning you right, but this one is the opposite. Uh-huh. All right. One more. Where are you? Is that you? Yeah, that's you. I'm just going to poke it. Yep, that's the last one. There we go. That took way well longer than it needed Frank. to take. You're a clever wow. dragon, ain't you? Smart enough to get the gates open and skillful. All right. <laughs> hey, it's Cub. It. No, we... no, no. We're good. we're fine. I don't need uh, any yeah, more dummies. We're bad. good. Yeah, we are done. Yeah. <laughs> How many of these portals are there per level? Uh, two. All right, so we got both of them in this world specifically then. Right. And if you were to check the atlas, that indicates that these two portals are still tied to the main level exactly. Because mm. remember, they were trying to... Yeah, they were taking notes from Year of the Dragon having specific minigames like this. And... And with the notion that there are nine levels in total, not counting the final boss, which is it pretty much boils down to Ripto, it's like they were trying. Yeah, it was like they were trying so hard to uh, br to brush off the fact that they're offering so much content when in reality they've got so little under their belt that they pretty much resort to whatever works. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Purple so far is the maximum color that we've seen so far. We have yet to see a yellow. Yep, yep, we've seen some five gems. All right, here's another one. Let's hope you're not Here as we difficult. Go. You think that the difficulty contains to the colors of the butterflies? I'm not butterflies. Uh, I, dragonflies. I, 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 I'd say so, but uh, even when I'm catching green or. Even when I'm catching green dragonflies, I always run, find myself running into this same exact problem. So I don't think it boils down to what color they are. Feels more so the fault with the developing cycle exactly. Mm. Yeah, right now I'm only seeing issues with the red dragonfly specifically, but that might change in the future. Uh-huh. Alright, at least it's dead end. Wait a minute. Did I just like... Whoa, I just clipped through this thing. <laughs> My neck. Oh, <laughs> yep, I'm seeing it now. Yeah, the... Definitely the wall detection is not accurate at all. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm hearing like a Has sound a very... effect constantly, but I don't know where it is exactly. Okay, so yeah, the spin effect is from those guys. Yep. You have done well, little dragon. Ciao. Freeing the dragon senses took much courage. I think this baby dragonfly will be safe with you. <laughs> hey, it's Roxy! Is it the same voice actor for Spyro? Spyro? Find and return uh, the remaining uh, yeah, Lady Tom Kenny is voicing Spyro they here too. The fortune of mm. the Dragon Realms. And this would be the last time he would voice him up until the remakes. Okay. Because after this, this is where they have, of course, been changing voice actors. Most notably, The Legend of Spyro had him portrayed by Elijah Wood. Uh, oh, oh, really? Uh, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> And as he said himself, his role in The Legend of Spyro is no different to another certain franchise he's portrayed for, mm. aka Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so if you, so if we ever get to Legend of Spyro and you notice parallels to Lord of the Rings, yep, it's a bit of a coincidence, son, for the most part. I see another portal here, but it looks that different. just takes you to that just takes you back to the main world. Okay. There's still some things to collect around here, I think. 
maybe. Uh, yeah, we still need some gems over here. Alright. Why do they have to be two in ones? Come on. <laughs> if you're going to spread them out, at least give us more... At least give us more variety. Yeah. And this feels like it's the beginning of the level now. Yep. We're That's basically right back where we started. Yeah. It's usually this area that I think I missed out on, but I can't tell. I think I might have been here already. Alright. I think we're good here. <laughs> you have. Alright. That one island you're probably missing is right by the end point, as you were about to Yeah, I saw a guy, guy with a kite, so I assume that I need the ice thing again or whatever. Yeah, you will. So yeah, let's not bother with that. <laughs> yeah, let's not. So we got the uh, lightning stone. I'm guessing that's yep. Yep, the that's way for to, us to uh, take back the gate? to the dragon's... Yep, at least the lightning gate. Hmm. Alright then. Which we will have to worry about next time i think we burned too much time here yeah so we'll be right back with the next episode oh wait hold on how do i save unless it's auto -save? enter the dragonfly uh does the game auto save or do i have to manually do that i'm pretty sure auto saving is still a thing here okay all right i think we're good then so we'll be right back with the next episode of spyro enter the dragonfly, enter the dragonfly. stay tuned